I want to do a quick video on bow ties. So basically that's a key, a butterfly key, that will span a crack in a piece of wood and hold it together. So what I did is I made a template. Um, nothing too special about it, just kind of drew a shape I liked. Um, took some quarter inch Baltic birch and uh, I made some eight degree angles. Um, if you want to get a little more specific on here, this is one and seven eighths, roughly. So this is about one and seven eighths. This is one and seven eighths, and the span across is six inches. And then what I did is I just gave it two little bevels. I actually cut these together. I took two pieces of wood, pressed them together made a cut on each side and so they're identical. Then what I did is I just glued the edges together. You can see the glue lines. Just squeeze it all together. Now I have a template. So again, about six inches across, one and seven eighths tall, and the angle is roughly eight degrees. So what we need to do is we actually need to cut out a piece where the crack exists and then we have to cut out something to fill it. So we're actually going to use the same template on each of these pieces. But what we're going to do is we're going to use a router with two different brass bushings. Okay, my setup today is the Festool OF1400 EQ. I have an eighth inch up spiral bit. I have the base plate for the router and what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be using two different brass bushings. This one is 3 8 and this one is 5 8 I just quickly want to talk about kind of the math that you use to figure out brass bushings and up spiral bits in this situation. So we've got two different things we have to make. We have to make a bow tie which is something we cut out of wood and then we also need to make the insert for the bow tie on the cracked piece of wood or tabletop. So that's basically removing material. So we're creating material and removing material. So what we're concerned about is where the outside and the inside of the bits sit relative to the template. So for the bow tie, I have a 3 8 inch brass bushing and a 1 8 inch bit. So I take 3 8 minus an eighth is a quarter. Quarter divided by two, because it's in the center, is 1 8. So if I take 1 8, that's this distance that we just calculated, plus the bit is 1 quarter. So using the template and this brass bushing of 3 8, it pushes the outer edge of the bit to 1 quarter of an inch. Okay? So the next thing we have to do is we have to cut out the piece on the table. So we're worried about cutting on the inside of that line. Okay, so here I use a 5 8 inch brass bushing and the same eighth inch bit. So I take 5 8 minus an eighth is 4 8 which is a half. A half divided by 2, because it's the middle, equals a quarter. So what happens is this distance now from here to here is a quarter. So to the outside edge of this bit is a quarter and to the inside is a quarter. So that means that one is going to cut an outer edge and one's going to cut an inner edge. I'll show you how to do that. Okay, I'm starting out by cutting the piece out of the cracked wood or the tabletop. So I have a 5 8 inch brass bushing with a 1 8 inch up spiral bit. I have the template clamped to the piece of wood and it straddles the crack. Now, something to remember at this point, when you're cutting the bow tie or cutting the piece out of the table, it's crucial that you don't smash the router, the brass bushing against the template and move it. Because if either one is moved, they won't fit. So you have to be really cautious of that. So let's make the cut.
Okay, and there we go. That's our bow tie for the inside of the crack. So there's a couple different schools of thought on how to remove the material in here. I've had people tell me that they just use the router to clean it all out, but I've also heard that it's better to use a chisel. Um, I guess whichever you prefer. Um, I'm not 100% sure if there's uh, an advantage to one or the other, but uh, for the sake of this video, I'll just chip it out with chisel. Okay, so this is a scrap piece of wood that I'm using to make a bow tie out of. The figure is going this way, the grain is going this way. So, because this is a scrap piece of wood, I'm just using it for today, but normally I would want my butterfly or my bow tie to be cut. If this is my grain cutting across here, I want it to be cut like this, basically. You know, I want it to uh, be the long grain to be with the length of the bow tie. Just for this example, I'm just using a piece of scrap, so it's just gonna it's gonna be in the wrong direction, but we'll see what uh, we'll see how it works out. So now I'm switching out for the core, or sorry, three eighths brass bushing. Okay, and so because we made the part on the table about half an inch, I want to go a little bit deeper on this, just so the key sits proud of the table, and then you sand it down flush. Okay, the other note to make, because you're cutting out the outside edge of this bow tie, you have to make sure that you stick to the edge. Because if you drift in, you cut the key. On the other part, on the table part, it didn't matter because you, we were taking it all out anyway. But this one, it's very, very crucial that your brass bushing rides right along that edge. You don't want to push too hard because you don't want to move the template. And uh, yeah, so just be very, very careful for that. I'm just going to throw it across. This is uh, basically I set the blade width to the height of this. I'll just cut it out. Okay, so we're back over here. We just finished cutting this key out on the table saw. Um, basically, I just kind of brought it over and just made sure it's going to slide in okay. Make sure everything was cut right so it is fitting nicely. You can see here this wasn't really a crack. I just drew it on as an example of a crack, but at any rate. So what I want to do is I want to fill this with glue now. I'm also going to put some on the bow tie. Now you could just hammer this, but it'll cause uneven forces if there's a bit of a bit of a tight spot. So what I do is I take a piece of wood, tap it down. Okay, start to go down. Okay, it's nice and even. Okay. Okay. So if you look closely, you can see it sitting just proud of the maple sitting just proud of the walnut. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let that dry and then we're going to sand it. 
Okay, so we glued the bow tie into the piece of wood. Again, I just made a mark to make it look like a crack, just as an example. So you've got the bow tie nice and centered on the crack. It's sitting slightly high, so you can sand it down to the right level. And uh, yeah, we'll just give this a quick sand. Again, you'd probably try to have the crack right in the middle there. Just got sanded off because I just drew it on as an example. So, so you want your grain running this way and you want to center the bow tie in the middle of the crack. And here's the finished product. Okay. The big thing here is getting the joint nice and tight. You can kind of see how there's no gaps. And that's because we are really careful with the router not to knock the template around. So these are a perfect fit. Just putting some oil on. Just to show you the final product.